Today we're back with an old friend, Stephen Lim, who's brought us to Bopo Mofo to introduce us to the next level world of boba in LA. Turns out this place was co-founded by YouTube OG Philip Wang from Wong Fu Productions. We're walking now? We're walking. Oh, a car. We're jaywalking. Well, here in the OC, these cars move slow. Are we in the OC? We're, We're in OC right now. That was like a show, Cow right? The OC. It was, yeah. Mm, what you say? Oh, That's OC, yeah, when right? Beebs got shot. <laughs> what? Exactly. Beebs exactly. get shot in the OC. Beebs got shot here? And not in real life. Oh, oh. Mm, what you say? Welcome. Thank you. Stephen Lim. Oh, As he lives and breathes. Hello. My YouTube godfather. <laughs> you, a YouTube OG. Uh, the OG. Wow. The thing I love about Pokemon personally. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Zoom in on this. Okay, let's get okay. quiet. Let's get quiet. <laughs> I do think that they really care about the Asian American experience, and you can see that embedded in every item, every dish, every drink. So it feels very true to who I am in our community. I'm thinking that you guys should try my favorite drink, the okay. carrot matcha latte. Oh. Carrot matcha latte. My name is Josh Carrot. Oh my god. That gosh. is actually yeah. my name. Why don't we do the brown sugar pudding? Yes, that's like a classic. Oh yeah, we have a uh, strawberry corn milk drink. Strawberry so, corn. I didn't know you could milk that, corn. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank through. We're gonna bring so it out much. to you. Yeah, have a seat and we'll call your name. We'll Thank bring you it out fantastic. to you, all right? Thank you. Cheers. Sure, sure. Steven. What's up? How are you doing, man? Oh, it has God. been a while. Yeah, and the last time we saw you, we filmed a video at a Korean restaurant in LA. San Kabi. Yeah, and I've just been eating there since you guys left. I've been waiting nice. for you to come back. Okay. And so I've just okay. been stuffing myself with Korean barbecue in the meantime. Fantastic. A lot's happened since we last saw you. You started a company. Uh huh. You met a young lady. Oh, I did. And turned her into your wife. Young lady. Well, the way you say that is a little creepy, almost. Yeah. yeah. I met a woman. Young lady. You met a woman. Uh, Tammy Cho. Oh, so we have that in common too. We're both Chinese. That is true. And we're both married to Korean women. I don't know if I can claim to be Chinese specifically, but I got Chinese blood. You have Chinese blood. Korean in-laws are it's fun. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. When they were in town visiting yeah. me, they kept everything pristinely clean. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing, but that they were. That is definitely a thing. And then the food. Yeah, Korean food. Oh my god. Can't go wrong. I want her to start a restaurant in LA. Your mother-in-law? Yes, because yeah. like it's it's so natural for her. I just want to say for self-defense reasons, my mother-in-law is also great. You, <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Well, let's do it. Yeah. Here's oh the brown sugar gosh. pudding okay. first. Whoa. So the pudding's at the bottom, lactose-free milk at the top with the tea, so you gotta mix it all together, right? Hang on, hang on. Put, put, when you say pudding, okay. yeah, see, there's see. literally like pudding yeah. floating in there. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's like literally like chunks. So pudding in the UK is dessert. In the US, pudding is like those like circular yeah, no, things yeah. that you scoop out and it's yeah, like yeah. jello. I mean, we have pudding. sticky toffee pudding. That's maybe the most famous pudding, but it just it can be anything. It can be a dessert. Mm. The tea is delicious. The tea is it's good. Fantastic. It's sweet. It's very sweet. Mm. I got some proper pudding chunks. I like tofu. Oh, it is kind of tofu texture. But oh, that's, sweet. that's a bit disturbing. Wait, I want to show you guys. Yeah, the take pudding. it out. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm just going to eat that. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I want to eat another some. one in there. I do want to get one as well. That's the thing. Even though boba literally means those tapioca pearls, it's actually more of like a lifestyle than a drink. It's more of a lifestyle. How do you get it? Oh, there you go. Oh, look. It looks like egg. It is eggy. Oh, it's beautifully eggy though. Yeah, that, oh wow. This is very graceful, wow. Stephen. <laughs> I, as much as I enjoy seeing you like <laughs> laughing like a dog. <laughs> we just witnessed the boba lifestyle yeah, right we now. did, we did. I'm just gonna say it. Brown sugar boba is often like yeah. just so, so sweet. Whereas this is, mm. And you can adjust it. Beautifully balanced. Sweet. That's the beauty too about boba. Oh uh, yeah. 10%, 25%, you know, 50%, 51 you could really choose. 51. Just, just dial in, you know. It's a controlling chef. Yes, I tell them 51. <laughs> Next boba. All right, here's uh, the carrot matcha latte. Oh, wow. So, that's the real carrot juice, lactose free milk, and a premium matcha. Give it a good mix, otherwise, you're just gonna be only getting carrot juice and boba, which you can okay, try too, okay. but. I do kind of want to yeah. try that as well. <laughs> now, with Watcher, one of your biggest videos was actually you making boba from scratch. Yes. For Simu Liu. The astoundingly good looking. What a legend. Muscular. Yeah. It's really annoying too because like. <laughs> Hero. Because like he just works out like once a week and he's just like boom. 
Okay. And I'm like every day pounding, you know. Steven? Pounding away. Steven? Those, those yeah. weights. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, this guy, it's unbelievable. He basically <laughs> yawns and starts sweating because his metabolism <laughs> is just, is burning calories because he's yawned. Okay. I, on the other hand, I basically have to do an Iron Man every week. <laughs> exactly. In order to stay a healthy BMI. You gotta stir, so. Uh, wait, I wanna try it without stirring oh, first. But then you're just gonna, gonna get crazy? carrot juice. Oh, sorry. Who are you talking to? You oh, love it. Oh, the carrot man. I see. I've never Straight. not stirred before. Oh yeah. Straight carrot. That's carroty. Tastes like a family. Oh, yeah. But the sweetness of the tapioca makes it good. Oh, I'm just gonna say it was a lot prettier when it was not mixed. That's no, no, no. It is when you've drank this so many times. Okay, you're a big matcha fan. Oh, it's in everything I do. Eat, oh, wow. Everything That's, you do. Everything I do. Not just, not just eat, <laughs> drink, it's like, like <laughs> facial, lotion. what I was thinking. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> that's my that's my British accent. Is it good? <laughs> Is it carroty? Do you wow? Don't choke. Mm. <laughs> Too much boba? No. Maybe Ooh. not enough boba. Ooh. You can very much taste a distinct carrot mm. and matcha flavour simultaneously. I want to love it. That's fair. It's not for everybody. I don't. I don't again. love it. I don't love it. But it's. It's lovely. I know it's why. It's really great. You've had enough carrots in your life. I love it. <laughs> I get it. We just are trying to feed people vegetables without them knowing. <laughs> <laughs> so in line with that, here is the corn milk. So real corn juice, a strawberry sorbet on top. You gotta mix it up really well as well, all right? Fantastic, thank you. Thank you. I just wanna say real quick, Phil bringing out the drinks right now, like literally taking orders. This is not just a show. He's not just yeah. doing that because we're here. Like this is actually, you will find him at the cafe day to day. Yeah, yeah. he's just a hardworking, you know, he's just, he's just legend. Yeah, ledge, a ledge. He's a ledge. Yeah. Oh, nice. Give him a fiver. Oh, give him a fiver. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, this is this is this is bad. But tapioca pearls, I could do without them. I don't even honestly order them when I get boba. Oh my gosh. Wow. So when you say committed to the boba lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, not about the balls. That sounds yeah. like a motto. A motto for what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to bring out some food right now. Oh, fantastic. So we have our ready for food, honey walnut shrimp. Oh. We're gonna put this like Ooh. this. That there we go. That. We have our popcorn chicken. Oh. Snap. So this is the vegan one. It's made from soy fiber. And then our mapo tots. <laughs> that looks so good. Thank you very much. You have not mixed as well as he has. Look at that, separation. It's, it's wild. I've never had this drink before. It's okay. crazy. Is it very corny? It is, it is. It is yeah. corny, it's yeah. Corny. It is cornier than corn. <laughs> no, it's not. It, but is, it is corn extremely milk. Extremely corny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that. That is next level. Yeah. Very Moorish. Is it? First taste was like, whoa. And then the second and third, I was like, I want more, I want more. <laughs> I really want to try these mapo. We should. Tots. Mapo tarts. Oh, ha, ha, ha. My mouth is watering no. so much. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Mm. And the egg, man. Oh. I've never had it with the egg. Oh. The egg yolk dish. and the tofu together? I don't know if I've ever combined those two things. Oh my golly jolly. Yeah, Phil. that's worth a round of applause. Holy Mate. moly. Mate. Is it all right? Yeah. Genuinely though, I, that, that's like, uh, that's a life-changing moment. It's unbelievable. That is a life-changing moment. Do you ship moment. to London? <laughs> <laughs> I would eat mapo tofu at home, but then at school I'd have tater tots at the cafeteria. Right. You know, so it's like, just like this mix of just Eastern Western flavors and just growing up in America, but also being, eating a lot of just like our food at home too, so. Like all the best ideas, it's like, how did no one think of that before, <laughs> right? I'm so glad you liked oh. it, guys. Thank you so much Seriously, for bro. inventing that. Right Let's move on to the chicken. And this is yeah, a ready. carnivorous chicken, and this oh, is yes, vegetarian this. chicken. Yes, Real normal chicken, chicken first. Well, okay, yeah, that popcorn chicken is, oh, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. What is this saying? I've not had this, but this vegan one looks You all haven't the had same. this? You kept bigging this up. I wanted to try it. Okay. <laughs> it's because he wanted <laughs> On us your dime. to buy it for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Wow. It tastes more like a chicken nugget than that does. <laughs> it does. It tastes so 
chicken. Wow. Are you sure it wasn't a chicken that was vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> that might actually show you how we've been conditioned to our chicken nuggets to like not be actual yeah, chicken. That, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to describe just like the feeling of popcorn chicken at a boba shop, but it's just like all of the nostalgia comes back every time you bite into this. And it's, I don't know, it's just, it's just like, makes me want to cry, you know? How, you know really? It's how like, makes you emotional. Yeah. This was a place where I felt like I had a sense of my identity. You know, I had a place in the world at a boba shop. Right. And so an I, I had my boba and I had my popcorn chicken. Whereas like, you know, at school it was like, oh, this is like meatloaf and, you know, hot dogs. I'm like, oh, well, cool. Yeah. It's not my experience, but like, yeah. this is me. This wow. is mine. And you went to school with meatloaf. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you must be old. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Last but not least, my yeah. favorite thing here, honey walnut shrimp burger. You're ticking a lot of allergy boxes. Honey oh. walnut shrimp. The, the, there's the honey, there's the whole insect kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Walnut, the, insect. The, yeah. the whole nut kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Shrimp, crustaceans. Yeah. Yeah. Not for the weak. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this, this was inspired at all by the yeah. fish fillet at McDonald's, was it? So actually in Japan, they actually have an ebi burger, which is like a shrimp katsu fillet. And that was part of the inspiration too. Oh, gotcha. Okay. The shrimp patty exists, but it's, yeah, it's yeah. not that common in America, yeah. I guess. But honey walnut shrimp? Never heard of that Yeah, before. we threw the nuts and the honey yeah. on there. <laughs> Hello. Cheers. This is so good. <laughs> mm. I love this eye contact that we make after each mm -hmm. one. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Mm. <laughs> mm. Can you open a branch in London, bro? I'm serious. I want some this like mapo, potato oh. top. Oh, next level! Oh. Next level! This is the combinations are already. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. He, he fusion the fusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had a lot of shrimp burgers in Korea. That's the best. Yeah. That's the wow, best. Wow, wow. So what do you agree? I haven't had a lot of shrimp burgers, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I guess something I was curious about is like when we were coming here, I really wanted to experience local food yeah. the way that people here in LA eat it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I didn't really have any concept of what that is. I mean, obviously Taco Bell was one side of that. I feel like this is a much better side. <laughs> Unexpected, but absolutely mm -hmm. incredible. Honestly, it really just comes from, I, I just love our food and just the food that we make and the inspiration from like our culture too. Like, if I was gonna open up a business, like I wanted to do this and so. Yeah, um, that's, that's awesome, man. Your passion definitely shows through because this tastes amazing. I'm so glad. I'm so good. My co-founder Eric too is a, is a big reason why a lot of these exist, so. I have one more surprise for you guys. Right? Oh! Hello. So you have done though a lot of different cooking for Watcha. You a granted lot. a lot of dishes. What was the, the hardest the challenge that you had to... The most stressful one yeah. was when I did it for the Michelin chef. Because oh, how do course, you outdo course. somebody whose job yeah. it is to outdo yeah, yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That was stressful. This is what I, this is a problem I have being putting married to a master chef finally. Oh my gosh. Yeah, how do you must be so hard. Chef, chef. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is pretty much every single time I try and cook anything, she'll come over like while I'm making it and just be like, mm, just do this from oh, here and yeah. change things. And Sorry, I'm just yeah. feeling so emotional on your behalf. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So typically, at, you know, after like a big Chinese dinner, there's some dessert, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have this black sesame milk here. We call it the hay sesame milk because hay is a play on word for black in Chinese. Hey, so. Nice. Exactly. Hey, zuma. This is a black sesame honey puree. I know it looks in your faces. I'm fascinated. And it's, it's uh, it looks crazy, but when you mix it all together, it tastes like the black sesame like rice balls that you get like in those like uh, soups. Oh. Yeah. And it, it kind of looks like a oh, Roshak gosh. test. Yeah. Tell me, what do you see? And then it'll and yeah, then uh, yeah. what what do you see in there? Yeah. What do you yes. see? Ah, uh, daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Come on. I don't know how much I should serve for. I'm just gonna keep. Oh yes. Okay. Black sesame dessert. Mm. Yes. I see what you're going for. Oh, that's delicious. I like it. That is good. I like it. Just wanted to give you like a little dessert, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it, but it's light. Man, this has really opened my mind to what boba can actually be. Yeah. The, right. the boba potential in the world. You asked me to take you to one place, so I was like, this is the first place we gotta go. I mean, it has lived up to the incredible amount of hype 
you gave it. Oh, good. Yeah, definitely, man. If this was in London, we would be going here every <laughs> week. Right? Yeah, genuinely. Well, thank you, yeah. Stephen, for the invite. Thank you, Phil, for your, um, well, just for your existence, really. <laughs> yeah, genuinely, uh, for your I'm, I'm just glad that you guys liked it. And we will try to bring it to, to London someday. Make it happen. We, we've please. had some other... But we will be there. Brit, Brits come Daily. by. But, uh, yeah. but, this, but this is special still, yeah, no, this, thank you guys. This is next level. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, smash that like button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. He's a pro. We'll see, see you guys, Jolly, Jolly soon. soon. We are at Jolly In and Out.